So before we begin, I've applied Matte's Prep and Prime Lip. What it is, is a primer for your lips whenever you wear bold colors like reds and pinks, and it's a clear wax coating. I apply it really generously on the outer edge of my lips, and that's to prevent um, bleeding from the lip pencil, and if you wear gloss, it kind of helps keep it in place all day long, so you can comfortably wear these fun colors. So the first look that we're going to do is almost like about an orangish red. I really like this for springs because it pairs nicely with light colors and it's just kind of different from the traditional red that I typically stick to so it's nice to branch outside the box a little bit and I am going to start off with just taking Woodwinked Eyeshadow from MAC and I'm going to lightly dust it all over my lid. I'm also going to take this color into the inner corner and then blend up into the crease, but not too far. I'm also gonna take the same color and lightly line it in the inner tear duct and then feather it back towards the edge of the eye. Now to finish off the eyes, we're just going to grab a little mascara. This mascara comes at the bottom and top wand, but I actually just like using the bottom for the top as well because it's really small and it can get in every little corner. And this has been my go-to mascara right now. I'll put a link below so you can also get it. Now we're going to start to create our orangey red lipstick. I'm going to grab this Urban Decay Liner in Gash and I'm just going to line the lip. And blend that in. And I'm going to grab this Nuba lipstick. It is in color Rouge Bijou, and it's like a really bright orangey red, and I'm just going to swipe that on. And there you have it. That is my first orangey lipstick look color that I wanted to go over. And basically what I did was I kept my contour. I didn't add an additional blush color because this is so bright and poppy that I didn't want it to compete with any other colors on my face. And I also kept the eyes really bare, which is not normal for me. I really like to go all out on the eyes. But with this, I just wanted to keep it very light and effortless looking. And you could actually do a scaled down version of this with a little less face makeup for vacation. You just need like a nice neutral gold eyeshadow, light mascara, waterproof if you're on vacation, and then just like an orange lipstick. Okay, let's go into the second look. All right, so now for the next look, we're going to jazz up the eyes just a little bit. We're not gonna actually add any additional eyeshadow, we're just gonna add eyeliner. So if you're going from day to night, or from work to happy hour, or you're just a busy person, this is gonna be a really easy look for you because the foundation's already kind of laid down and all you need to do is add to it. I'm just gonna quickly, line the eyes and I don't want this um, eyeliner line to get too thick or exaggerated because I want it I want the focus feature of this look or of this tutorial to be the lips and I'm gonna add a slight little wing on it Eyeliner makes such a big difference. You can already tell the definition of the lash line on this eye versus this one. Okay, so now we've kind of stepped up our eyes a little bit. We're gonna go in and add on to the lips. So you're gonna actually leave this lipstick color on that you have now, but I'm gonna dab off pretty much like the really the top superficial layer of lipstick. So I want it to look like that. I want it to look very faded and that's gonna help create um, a nice foundation for the next color that we're doing without having to completely wipe off our makeup and start over. So I'm gonna grab Vino Lip Pencil from MAC and as you can see, I love it. Like I'm on my last, this is embarrassing, like I need to buy a new lip pencil, but I love it so much. It literally can do wonders for your makeup because you can add it to any different lipstick that you want to and you're about to see. So I'm gonna lightly line over that first color that we did.
Now I'm gonna grab Rebel by MAC, which is just this awesome, super pigmented, dark, rich color, and I'm gonna lightly trace it over the outer edges of the lips. If you ever feel like there's a really harsh distinction between your lip pencil and where your lipstick is, just blend it in with your finger because you never want it to look like you like sharpied an outline and then filled it in with a color. And there's your second look. It's almost like ombre lips without being so dramatic. It's kind of appropriate for the workplace or not intimidating. If you go on a date with a guy, he's not like, oh my God, you have two different lipsticks on. It's just like a really nice progressive fade between the two colors. And it's a nice modern way to wear something that you see on runways or in editorial looks. And it's just a really easy way to incorporate it into your life. So that's the second look. Okay, and the third look that we are going to do is gonna be a very true red. So what I'm going to do is start off with this Vino lip pencil. Again, it's really dark, it's really pigmented, but for my skin tone, it kind of helps create that border that I want, and then I'm going to blend it into a real red later. Okay, now I'm going to grab Wild Watermelon from Revlon. It's actually a, like a pinky color, but I think it's nice because it's going to blend in with this dark color that I have now. And I'm going to mix that glossy color with Ruby Woo from MAC, which is a real deal, like powerful, strong matte red. But for spring, I don't want it to be so intensely strong, so I'm going to mix it in with that wild watermelon color, and it's going to create an amazing combination. And there you have it. That's my third look. So this one is a little bit glossier but it's not like drippy, clear gloss glossy because I don't really think that's a functional thing to wear every day unless you're like going out. And even then it's kind of a lot to maintain. Um, it's hydrating because I use the Revlon Wild Watermelon Lipstick first and then it's also really punctuated. Also for the last look, I forgot to mention that you can pop on lashes if you want as well, just to make it a little more glam. And I also skipped bottom eyeliner, but if that's something you feel like you really need, then I would recommend going with a dark brown like Teddy from MAC. I would not go with a black just because sometimes when you fully line your eyes with black and then you have a red lip, it just looks a little too like New Year's Eve-ish. So just personal opinion, but you know, do whatever you feel makes you feel comfortable. And I also wanted to say that if ever you're having a bad day to reach for your red lipstick, it's going to transform your day. Sometimes I wake up and I'm just like not in the mood for anything and I don't feel like getting dressed and I don't feel like, you know, dealing with whatever I'm dealing with at the moment. But if I get up, put my makeup on, put on some red lipstick, it gives me like an extra boost of confidence that I need to take on the day and really face whatever challenges I have going on at that moment. So I encourage you to step outside the box, think creatively, try several different red lipsticks on, mix colors that you already have, and wear it boldly because you are awesome and you deserve to feel comfortable in whatever lipstick color you wear. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have an awesome day.